Two seasons ago, when I created my very own club in Spain, I never thought I'd be signing a hundred million pound deal with Qatar Airways. But we've actually done it, and now we're one of the richest clubs in Spain. But this does bring pressure. The footballing world now expects us to become a Champions League club. And to be honest, we've already started building our squad for just that. We started off the season signing the likes of Paul Pogba and even Fran Garcia. But we're not done yet. To become the best team in Spain, we need to sign a superstar that can lead this team here we go guys create a club in spain season three is in full flow of course we're now one of spain's richest clubs and honestly signing paul pogba and fran garcia was a bit insane but as i said with this money comes expectations and we now need to become a club that competes with barcelona and real madrid at the top and so for that we're on the hunt for a left winger. If you look at our attack, Galliano is kind of like the weak point. Plus, we don't have much depth there. And we're looking to bring in a player that can add something to our attack. With 80 million in the bank, surely we can sign a world-class left winger. And I've been reading through your comments, guys. And Kvichak Varachikilia has been popping up a lot. Can you actually imagine if we managed to sign Kvichak for the club? This is a player that's carried Napoli to the title. He could potentially carry S2G Club the football to a La Liga trophy as well. But the problem is, he's worth 97.5 million. And right now, we just don't have that kind of money. And by the way, you guys actually reminded me in the comment section that with the Gatorade deal, we were owed 10 million. The objective was to get a win against Barcelona, Real Madrid, or Atleti. And we actually did it. We beat Barcelona, and that's kind of what transformed the club. So from 80 million, our budget has gone up to 90 million million will take that money from Gatorade. With 90 million in the bank, surely that's enough to maybe at least try to sign Kvichak Kvarachikilia. So, we're gonna get into negotiations with him. Here we are negotiating with the Napoli boss before we can even talk with Kvichak. We need to convince the Napoli manager. Oh my god, his market value is 97.5 million. Kvichak is an absolute baller. I really don't know how we'll be able to afford this and pay his wages. So, I think 80 million is like the most we can offer right now they've countered with 146.5 it's gonna be virtually impossible even by getting a record-breaking sponsorship deal from qatar airways some players are just completely out of our budget let me try maybe a swap deal but i don't want to be putting like sergio galliano or matthias sula absolutely not maybe we can put in barrios but i doubt that's gonna affect the valuation at all unfortunately guys i feel like creature at this point of time just impossible we're not gonna be able to sign him well we've just wasted the napoli manager's time the problem is guys we're literally on transfer deadline day and a day later we've got a massive game against real madrid before that game against real madrid i really want to sign that left winger and bolster the team Do you know what i think i need your guys's help for the left winger signing i'm gonna read through your comments and see if there are some good options Jaden sancho could be a good talent to bring into the team not too expensive and you could help him even revive his career well you guys are forgetting that we're two years in a career mode and Jaden Sancho has really developed well. He's 86 rated and I just don't think we'll have enough money to afford him. Looking at some more suggestions and I'm seeing a lot of Chavi Simmons in the comments. Feel like Chavi Simmons will be the perfect option for the winger position. Tons of potential. He's shining right now so you should get him while he's not expensive. Ooh, Chavi Simmons actually is definitely affordable. I like the idea of this. Chavi Simmons. Oh my. Ooh, we can definitely convince Convert him to a left winger, but he's more like a cam. That's my biggest worry. But I'm looking at his stats and the pace is there. 94 sprint speed, 91 acceleration. I've never used him in career mode before at least. Th this could be it. He's got great finishing as well. He could be the perfect winger for us. Oh my days, Chavi Simmons. This might be it. Plus guys, the one advantage we get with Chavi Simmons is his versatility. If I want, I can play him instead of Pablo Torre and have Galliano start. If I want, I can play Chavi Simmons on the right instead of Pogba. He can literally play anywhere for us. And I think now is the time to act. But again, he's going to be expensive. And so it's time to put that Qatar money to good use and make this signing possible. Can we do it though is the real question. I'm going to start with 65 million as my first offer. I don't think that's too bad. Let's see what they say. We're on deadline day, by the way. We need to make this transfer count. They've countered with 78 million. By the way, I just realized we're just again negotiating with the Napoli boss, this time for a different player. I'm going to try and reduce this down to 70 million so we've got more cash, contracts and everything. And looks like it's 
it's working. 74 million. And we should be able to get Xavi Simmons. I think I'm doing this, boys. I think I'm doing this. Xavi Simmons to S2G Club, the football. It's happening. But guys, there's still work to do. We need to convince him of our project. So let's get to work. We're now negotiating the contract. Crucial squad role, absolutely perfect. Remember, we've got to put a release clause on him because we're in La Liga and what a silly rule. Huh, let's try and keep the release clause something insane, like 140 million or something. Like, come on. And it's actually worked. Maybe I should have put it a bit higher, something like 200 million. Uh, I, I, ho I hope it doesn't affect us badly and Barcelona or someone don't sign him. But anyways, seems like the contract is very reasonable. I think I'm accepting it. There you go. We've just signed Xavi Simmons. Guys, Um, I literally just signed Xavi Simmons and why is he standing there? And it's Paul Pogba doing his medical and everything. I don't get this. Like, what is this? Why is Pogba being revealed? We literally just signed Xavi Simmons. By the way, Pogba is also our player already, but I don't get this. It's almost as if for some reason the club forgot to give Xavi Simmons his presentation. But hey, I guess it's fine because we've actually signed him. And there you go. He's being unveiled at least over here. It kind of hurts me to put Galliano on the bench, but you just know Galliano is still going to get opportunities to play. Xavi Simmons is now going to be our left winger. and got a lot of expectations from him. And oh, by the way, I think we need to convert Xavi Simmons to a left winger before we can play him there properly. So let's let's do that. It should only take a couple of weeks and that's perfect. I think we're done with our transfer deadline day business. So unless some club ends up paying the release clause of any of our players, we really should be fine. And right now, I think the release clause on most of our players are pretty high. So I'm not expecting anything crazy to happen in this window. Ooh, but we are getting offers for the likes of Joseba Gonzalez, our center back. This one is from Spurs. Nah, I'm not willing to sell Gonzalez, man. He's honestly awesome. Bro, Gonzalez is literally in high demand. Another club, this time our rivals Atletico. They want to sign him, but no, 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 we're not selling him. And with that, guys, looks like nobody ended up paying any of the release clauses and we get through deadline day without any sort of a problem. So that is a major relief. With that, guys, this is our squad and the squad we're going to have until January at least. Actually, with the money we've got left, probably for the entire season. But with this team, we now need to put up a fight in La Liga. No excuses. We've got quality players in almost every position. I don't know if we can fight for the title, but what I do know is that we need to be amongst the big boys. And that starts by showing what we're all about against Real Madrid. This is a massive game for us. We've never beaten Real Madrid before. And by the way, we've got Xavi Simmons making his debut. Oh, there he is, boys. Xavi Simmons warming up for Madrid. Let's go. I cannot wait to see what he's all about. By the way, I read your comments and I hear you. I see a lot of people telling me that we're going a bit too fast with this series. That, you know what, we've given ourselves too much money for season three. The truth is, guys, in less than a couple of months, we've got FC24 coming out. The new FIFA, basically. And I really don't want to be in a position where we've left this career mode unfinished. So that's why we're just speeding things up a bit to keep the series fun, as well as give it a great ending before FC24 and the madness begins. So yeah, just being honest with you guys, because I do read all your comments. Like, honestly, I do. But for now, boys, it's time to focus on this Madrid game. We've got all that money from Qatar. We've invested it into the team. We now need to see the results to see if we can beat one of the best teams in La Liga. By the way, this game's going to be a big test for Sergio Ramos playing against his former club. The club where he became a legend. Thank you. But uh, that, that was really bad from Ramos. He couldn't hold off Vinicius. One thing's for sure, sooner rather than later this season, Sergio Sergio Ramos is going to need to get replaced from the team because he's, he's getting old, man, and he's on the verge of, you know, eventually retiring. So I don't know how long he can keep this high level up. Right now, though, Paul Pogba looking for Xavi Simmons, and we need to give him a better kit number. But right now, he's on the attack. Oh, that's good defending from Madrid. This is a big test for Sergio Ramos, one that he's completely failed don't like this. We do get the ball away, though. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Nope. Sergio Ramos, that's more like it. I'm telling you, he's still got it. He makes a few mistakes here and there, but his level is still pretty high. And I'm hoping he can keep this up. Right now, Xavi Simmons looking for Fran Garcia. And I think, ah, just about offside. Xavi Simmons getting in behind. That's more like it. Can he actually score against Real Madrid? Xavi Simmons, no, the finish was lacking. Oh, he still gets the ball, but then Guardiol with the tackle. Ay, ay, ay. But I'll tell you this, Xavi Simmons is looking like the real deal. Oh, no, Rodrigo with the chance and a big save from Mendes. Let's go. Go on, Xavi. That was a lovely touch. 
Xavi Simmons chipping the ball in. Matias Sula, no. Marcos Ray. The pressure is definitely on Marcos Ray as well because last episode, you guys saw what the world's tallest player did. Gabriel Figueroa was insane and if Marcos Ray can't perform, he's going to get kicked out of this team and Gabriel is going to replace him. So I'm hoping against Madrid here, he might be able to score. But right now, it's looking like Madrid will be on the attack. Easy. Sergio Ramos with another insane tackle. I'm telling you, man. Ramos is playing out of his skin. Halftime and once again, I'm thinking Marcos Ray for some reason. It's just, it's just not clicking. Like it's not been his night once again. I think I need to bring on Gabriel Figueroa because he's been scoring when never given the chance. And maybe alongside Xavi Simmons, he'll be able to do more damage. Xavi Simmons looking for Fran Garcia. Coming back for Gabriel Figueroa. No way. He always scores. The tallest man in the world. Well, not really. But in the game, at least, has just scored against Real Madrid. Gabriel Figueroa. Every time he plays, he does a madness. I don't know what's about him, but let's go. We're leading against Real Madrid. And by the way, Fran Garcia did so well here. What a finish from Gabriel. Real Madrid are definitely not going to give up here. It's Fede Valverde looking inside and they easily get back in in this game. Ah, oh, that's, that's frustrating defending from us. Sergio Ramos once again. I, I just can't believe the level Ramos has put up with. Yes, he makes mis he makes a few mistakes here and there, but honestly, I'm 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 still like I find it crazy. Look at this. He just clears everything. Xavi Simmons and here's Pogba. Pogba looking for the ball for Gabriel Figueroa. This man, ah, oh, that's one thing he's not good at, which is just controlling the ball. Like anything footballing related, dribbling and all, that's where Gabriel Figueroa completely just becomes a fraud. And that's full time, guys. The fact that against Real Madrid, we held them to a draw. And honestly, certain points of the game, I thought we were better. This season, it could be a real good one. Honestly, though, it's this man that scored the goal for us that has just got me like mind blown. Gabriel Figueroa, I don't get how he's been this good and this effective in front of goal. Oh, by the way, here's a fun fact. Gabriel Figueroa played for the S2G club, the football's basketball team. I had no idea we had one. He was a prospect for the NBA, but decided to follow his dream in becoming a professional footballer instead. Good decision. Bro's a giant. Yep, literally. Bro just loves playing with balls, I guess. Um, th th that is sus. This kid has so much potential. Finally, the youth academy has come through in this series. Can't wait to see him play more. Well, yeah, that's for sure. He's now 18 years old, and I, I think he might have actually grown in height no way he's Bruh. literally now six foot nine the world's tallest football player is gotten even taller is this some sort of a joke anyways boys take a look at this on twitter about our new kits well our kits are awesome and i saw a lot of you guys call that this season's kits are the best ones we've ever had imagine we sold s2g club the football figurines with the kids bro that would be so freaking awesome it's now time to get stuck into some la liga games build some form and push further up we're ninth in the league right now that is not where we want to be but we've got big decisions to make do i bench marcos re do i play gabriel figueroa ah there are a lot of games i'm sure both of them are gonna get a lot of game time and here we go we're playing real zaragoza this is a game we have to win go on matthias sula it's a proper chance for him you're still sula Going all the way, has to score, and of course, our very own version of Messi does not miss chances like that. With Gabriel Figueroa in the box, every corner is literally an opportunity, and I'm telling you, he is insane. The world's tallest player, who's getting even taller, scores a lovely header for us. Long ball for Gabriel Figueroa, heads it down with ease. Now it's Paul Pogba here with the chance, looking to put it back in for Gabriel Figueroa and the header. Yo! scored that. Now we're seeing a bit of action from Xavi Simmons. He's going to play the simple pass for Sula. Sula takes it one side, goes for goal. Matias Sula does not miss and that should be it for this one. We're looking unstoppable with all the new players linking up. And oh, this is perfect timing. We can now convert Xavi Simmons to a left winger and he actually went up in his overall. And up next, we play Real Betis. We've literally got another set piece and could Gabriel Figueroa actually do it again? This time he couldn't win the header but we might still be able to put the ball into his path for him to score. Instead, it goes for Pogba. Nah, cleared away this time. Ah, uh, this is not what we need. We've conceded a silly penalty, but can we make the save? No, it's a Panenka. Ah, uh, that's frustrating. Set piece opportunity again, and our best way of scoring is by getting it to Gabriel Figueroa. We couldn't even get the ball to him. Frustrating, but we might still have a chance here. Here's Gabriel, but he cannot dribble to save his life. We're going to play it wide for Nils Alonso's come on. Pogba, Matias Sula, Xavi Simmons. 
and we just got completely crowded off, but we've got a penalty. Honestly, guys, who is our best penalty taker? I don't think it's Sula. It is Paul Pogba, and I think we need to take this one with him. I need a guaranteed goal here. Oh, yeah. Pogba's run-up is just really silly. Uh, where do I go? I'm going right. I'm going right. Let's go, Pogba. Put this in. <sighs> the silly run-up, but it's it's fine. We get the goal. We're back in this game. Is that Pogba's first goal for us? I think it is. No way, guys. We can see it another penalty. Where do we go this time? He's gone twice down the middle and completely bamboozled me. We're actually gonna take an L here. And we literally lose the Real Betis. That is so frustrating. Everything was going so well. Thankfully, we do pick up wins against Athletic Bilbao. But it's again an inconsistent result as we draw against Almeria. Even with all that money coming in, we're still inconsistent. We're definitely a top half La Liga club. But to break it into that top four, we're gonna have to do more on the pitch. And honestly, one thing I'm realizing is that Gabriel Figueroa is the kind of player that's made for certain games. And in other games where we just get crowded off, we don't get to put in the crosses, he's just unable to do anything. I still feel our best bet is to get the best out of Marcos Ray. So I'm hoping in this next game, Ray can show what he's all about. We're heading into our next game against Hedafe with Marcos Ray starting this one. He needs to get back to scoring because Gabriel Figueroa is coming for his spot. Pogba. Xavi Simmons cutting it back for nope. Sula. Ah, oh, these two are forming a really good duo. Full time and it was a nil-nil draw with Marcos Ray. I just don't get it. He's unable to score in La Liga like he normally used to. And our next game in La Liga is against Barcelona. And I just don't know who do I start. Do I go with Marcos Ray or Gabriel Figueroa? What do I do in this game? Everybody knows the history Marcos Ray has with Barcelona. It was his boyhood club. The club which rejected him. And because of that, I think I want to start him. Last season, he scored against Barca and helped us win, but uh, he's not had a good start to this season. He's been out of the team for the most part, but you know what? I'm taking the risk and I'm really hoping Marcos Ray can deliver. Honestly, I've just realized the amount of former Barcelona players we've got in our team, like, not, not exactly former Barca players, but players who've been in their academy and all, like Pablo Torre. We've got Xavi Simmons, who was a La Masia graduate. Marcos Ray, of course. So, yeah, there's a lot of history between Barcelona and us and they might use it and score. Ferran Torres, what's he done there? How did Ferran Torres miss that? We'll take it though. This guy's a fraud. Xavi Simmons against Barcelona with Xavi watching on the sidelines. Here he is showing off his skills and here he goes on the attack. Xavi Simmons with a sublime run might actually score against his former club. No, the keeper saves. That was brilliant from Xavi Simmons. Pablo Torre. And I see Sergio Ramos in the box. He almost went for it. We might still have a chance. No, we don't. Ferran yeah. Torres coming through, but what a challenge from Josepa Gonzalez. Exactly why we didn't sell him. Oh, this is bad. Lautaro Martinez with a chance. Josepa Gonzalez putting his body on the line, and so is Mendez. We somehow survived that. Yes, Marcos Ray on the ball so far has not really set the game alight, and I'm hoping soon he will be able to do exactly that. Right now, though. Xavi Simmons is really having a wonderful game as he gets through player after player, goes for goal, off the crossbar, no, that is so unlucky, Xavi Simmons deserves to score, no, 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 Ferran Torres nope. is through on goal, Mendes again with the save, and we're somehow still nil-nil, this game has been crazy, Paul Pogba, looking to find space to maybe shoot, because we know what he can do if he gets a chance to shoot, almost scored there, Paul Pogba driving the ball forward, looking for options, and the best one is definitely Xavi Simmons, here he goes once again, finding Marcos Ray with the lovely ball, but Ray couldn't do much, we still have the ball with Pogba, looking inside for Pablo Torre, against his former club, we've scored against Barcelona, Pablo Torre shows a bit of respect, 1-0 against Barca, this is unreal, what a ball that is for Fran Garcia, controls it well, back for Paul Pogba, looking now for Marcos Ray, who's found a bit of space, goes for goal himself, De Stegen with the save, no, 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 chance for Rafinha, Sergio Ramos almost took out my own player there, but we somehow survived, no, 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 we might still concede, how have we avoided conceding there at the end? It's a famous win yet again against Barcelona. And this time, it was Xavi Simmons who honestly put in a masterclass. Well and truly worth the crazy money we spent on him. I can't believe 
we've beaten Barca. This is giving me hope. But right after this game, while we were walking down the dressing room, Xavi Simmons and Barcelona's boss Xavi, they were seen talking something. Wonder what that could be about. Honestly, guys, I'm so freaking glad we signed Xavi Simmons because he's an absolute baller. He didn't score in that game, didn't get an assist as well, I think, but he was literally man of the match against Barca. Looks like we're keeping the momentum going by beating Osasuna as well. And looks like we're on a roll as we managed to beat Real Valladolid as well. Oh man, this season we are truly in the fight. Somehow we're in the top four. Just one point off the top. Could this be the season we actually win La Liga? Now, now let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still need to be consistent and keep winning games in La Liga. And our next opponent is Atletico Madrid. As much as I hate to do this, but I really think we need to start looking into the future. Ramos is playing well, but he's getting worse and worse day by day. I think we need to start including Nianzu and developing him to be our number one center back. So he's getting into the team in this one. Marcos Ray starts as well. I'm really hoping Ray can start performing. Guys, I've got to say this. The Miami edition kits look so freaking good, honestly. No, no, no. Ja Felix behind and off the crossbar. We get a bit of luck there as Gonzalez helps clear the ball away. Pablo Torre. That's a lovely ball for Julian Araujo. Looking inside, Matias Sula had to score that. How did that not go in? Pogba now. Look at how deep Atletico Madrid defend, but that's given us space to shoot, but no power at all. Ah, they've completely opened us up. Here's Jao Felix. That's brilliant defending from Nianzu. Come on, man. We need to see more of that from him. Can he get the ball away, though? Well, earns us a goal kick. We'll take it. This is bad. Jao yeah. Felix, big save again from Mendes. Oh, my days. Oh, they've completely opened us up. Atletico Madrid, Nianzu saves it, but it falls for Memphis Depay. Atletico take the lead. We're now going to find out what our team is really made of, because if we want to win La Liga this season, we're going to have to get back into games like this. Oh, well, Matias Sula has gone on a really good run. Matias Sula, no, he put it wide. What a chance that was. Xavi Simmons again, looking for the ball for Marcos Rey, who's just... Not making the right runs, man. It's it's so frustrating to watch Marcos Ray do this. Like, I, I don't know what's happened to him. We're going to bring on Gabriel Figueroa for this one and see, hopefully, that changed things. Before that, we might actually concede again, and thankfully, we don't. No chance again, and they've completely opened us up. Atletico Madrid are giving us a reality check in this one. Oh, Greece, man, this is getting worse. This is going from bad to worse. Is this how we're going to win La Liga? The game ends with Griezmann scoring one more and we've taken a horrendous L to Atleti. We're a lot better this season, no two ways about it, but we're still not there at the level of Madrid, Barca and Atletico. Hopefully as the season goes, as the team develops, as Xavi Simmons gets better, maybe Marcos Ray gets back in a form, we'll be there. We've got a couple of games in this month left against Sevilla and Real Sociedad. Those are tricky games. We need to win these to stay in the fight. No, 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 we might actually end up conceding against Sevilla. That defeat against Atletico has kind of put us completely off track. Oh, this could lead to something as Marcos Ray looks for Xavi Simmons. The pass was absolutely woeful, but we still might have a chance here. Marcos Ray looking for David Silva, who's come off the bench and misses. We actually end up losing this game to Sevilla. Oh. Honestly, I've never thought of selling Marcos Ray, but with the way he's playing, the thought is definitely coming into my mind. Up next, we've got Real Sostad, and we have to win this game now. And guys, for this game, I want to try something different. I'm going to give Pablo Torre a bit of rest, play Galeano down the left, and have Gabriel Figueroa start up top. Our last two games, we've been terrible. I'm hoping with the new setup that we've got for this game, we can get back to winning ways. If we want to be a top-level La Liga club, we need to win. And Matias Sula is helping us do exactly that. Firing this one for Gabriel Figueroa. Should have scored there. Oh, I see you, Xavi. I see you, Xavi Simmons. Chipping this one inside for Paul Pogba. Too easy. We're back leading a football game. It feels like ages, but there you go. Gabriel Figueroa making a lovely run. Can he actually... What was that? That was embarrassing. Oh, we've been completely opened up there. And wow, fair play. Goncalo Ramos gets the equalizer there. What just happened? Did we just actually concede that? Wow. Fair play. Real Sostad take the lead again. It's just... Uh, Sula. Chipping this one for Gabriel Figueroa. That turn was world class. Deserved a goal, man. Gabriel Figueroa for the first time showcasing his footballing ability. This time it's not been Gabriel Figueroa's game. So I'm bringing on Marcos Ray. Uh, like, I'm hoping this could be the game Marcos Ray can get back into some form. Galeano looking for Marcos Ray. This is what I want to see from him. Oh, very smart indeed to find Sula. Sula, lovely finish. That was brilliant. And we're back in the game. Credit to Marcos Ray. Sometimes it's not 
about goals and he played the perfect role of a striker there by setting up his teammate as well. Matthias Sula looking for Marcos Ray. Lots of hope from him as he looks for Paul Pogba. And how on earth did the keeper save that? Paul Pogba going for the Truvella. I thought maybe, just maybe, but nah, the keeper saw that one coming. Sula looking for Marcos Ray. Surely this is it. And Marcos Ray is on the score sheet. It's been ages. And he might have just won us all three points here. This could be the turnaround that Marcos Ray needed. Oh, and now the game has opened up. Marcos Ray squaring this one for Sula. It's a simple tap in. And that should get us the guaranteed three points. Marcos Ray honestly came on, changed this game. Two assists and a goal with that boys we're getting back into the title fight although we're still four points away but it's good to be among the very best teams in la liga and while we're getting things back on track in our season there is a news article barcelona are looking to sign an s2g club the football player by paying at their release laws the player has had a barcelona past no way guys barcelona are looking to steal a player from us and the rumors have it that it's a player with a barca past it could be xavi simmons it could be Marcos Ray, Pablo Torre, or even Julian Araujo. Which one of these is released loss is going to be paid? Could there be nothing that we can do to stop it? Well, next episode, we'll find out.